next part is the permeability of stratified soil so we know that the soil formation occurs over a time of thousands of years so because of that the soil forms in layers and the properties of these layers will not be the same and depending upon that their coefficient of permeability is also not same so if we if we want to know the value of discharge through this stratified soil so for that we define a average value of coefficient of permeability and that we call as k equivalent so there can be two cases of flow one can be horizontal flow and other can be vertical flow here horizontal and vertical does not mean that the flow will occur in vertical or just horizontal direction it means that the flow is parallel to the stratification or it is perpendicular to the stratification so if it the flow is parallel to the stratification it is a case of horizontal flow and if the flow is perpendicular to the stratification then it is a case of vertical flow so if the stratification is in the horizontal direction then it is like this but if the stratification is like this then this value is changed now this is the horizontal flow case and flow in this direction is the vertical flow case so it is the easiest way to remember is the if the flow is parallel to the stratification it is horizontal and if it is across the stratification or perpendicular to the stratification it is vertical flow now let's see each of them one by one so first let's see the horizontal flow case so let's say the total discharge q is passing through this soil so depending upon the permeabilities the discharge through each layer will be different so let's say q but for the for maintaining the continuity q will be equal to summation of q1 plus q2 plus q3 but if the permeability is more then the velocity of flow will be more through that layer and the discharge will also be more and similarly if the permeability is less then the velocity will be less and less water will enter that layer so discharge varies through all these layers but what remains constant the hydraulic remains constant across the stratification so let's say the water level on the left side is here and on the right side after some head loss has occurred because of the flow the water level is here so total head loss is h and if that this distance is l so the hydraulic gradient here is small h by capital l now this hydraulic gradient value is same for all the layers if i say for layer 1 then also it is h by capital l for layer 2 similarly h by capital l so hydraulic gradient is remaining same in this case so i can say i is equal to i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i3 now we know that the discharge is given as k i a using the darcy's formula here a is equal to area of cross section perpendicular to the flow now if this is the area of cross section perpendicular so this h2 in this case it is h2 is one dimension and if we take this other dimension as one so h2 into 1 similarly h1 and h3 so the area of cross section is just the thickness of that layer for the unit width so from here if i want to write the equivalent coefficient or the total flow so i can write total flow as the k equivalent times i times area of flow that is h so for the total flow it is total thickness so it is h and similarly q1 will be equal to k1 times i1 times h1 so using this equation q i can write k equivalent i h is equal to k1 i1 h1 plus k2 i2 h2 plus k3 i3 h3 but as i said the hydraulic gradient is same in all these layers so it cancelled out and from here k equivalent is equal to k1 
के वन एच वन प्लस के टू एच टू प्लस के थ्री एच थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल थिकनेस ऑफ द स्टार्टिफिकेशन दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर फोरिजोंटल कोफिशेंट ऑफ परमिबिलिटी इन द होरिजोंटल फ्लो केस वेर एच इज इक्वल टू एच वन प्लस एच टू प्लस एच थ्री जी आर आई शोर्ड फॉर थ्री स्ट्रेटा इट कैन बी टर्न फॉर एनी नंबर ऑफ स्ट्रेटास नेक्स्ट इज द केस ऑफ वर्टिकल फ्लो वर्टिकल फ्लो मीन्स दैट द फ्लो इज अकरिंग बट पेंडिकुलर टू द स्ट्रेटिफिकेशन नाउ इन दैट इन दिस केस द वैल्यू ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक ग्रेडियंट विल नॉट बी सेम एट से द वाटर लेवल इज हेयर ऑन द लेफ्ट एंड दिस इज द टोटल हेड लॉस सो हाइड्रोलिक ग्रेडियंट वी नो इट इज गिवन एज स्मॉल एच अपॉन कैपिटल एच बिकॉज लेंथ ऑफ फ्लो हेयर इज द थिकनेस ऑफ स्ट्रेटिफिकेशन सो हाइड्रोलिक ग्रेडियंट इज द हेड लॉस डिवाइडेड बाय द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ फ्लो सो फ्रॉम हेयर आई गॉट दिस बट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस फर्स्ट लेयर so here it is some head and let's say the head loss in this layer is h1 so what will be the hydraulic gradient hydraulic gradient will be h1 divided by thickness of the stratification so this value can be different it means that the hydraulic gradient does not remain same in this case then what remains same the total discharge remains same because to maintain the continuity if q is entering through here so q should come out of here so the q the total discharge is same through all these layers so q is equal to q1 is equal to q2 is equal to q3 now we know that discharge is given as velocity times area so if we consider unit area of cross section perpendicular to the flow so a is constant so a is unit in unit area in all these layers so that means that the velocity is the only factor so for keeping the flow same the velocity of flow should be same because if velocity of flow is same then let's say the velocity of flow here is v1 it is v2 and v3 and if all this is different so the discharge through first layer will be v1 times 1 discharge through second layer will be v2 times 1 third layer v3 times 1 now if this these values are not same then discharge is different through all these layers which is not possible because discharge is constant so velocity in this case is same and we know that velocity is given as from the darcy's law v is equal to ki for we can say for the equivalent coefficient of permeability k equivalent times i and i i said hydraulic gradient here it can be written as this so k equivalent times it will be equal to k1 k1 i1 equal to k2 i2 so we can write this value k equivalent times i i is small h by capital h so small h by capital h is equal to k1 i1 k1 i1 will be small h1 upon capital h1 only similarly k2 small h2 upon capital h2 is equal to k3 small h3 upon capital h3 now from here if i try to find out the value of h1 so h1 is equal to k equivalent times small h capital h1 divided by capital h similarly h2 is equal to k equivalent small h capital h2 divided by capital h and similarly h3 now the head, total head loss through all these layers will be the sum of head losses through different layers so total head loss is equal to sum of head losses now if we put the value of head losses here so total head loss is equal to it will be i did i did not put this k1 here it will be k1 or k2 
so it will be k equivalent times h so for k1 h plus small h h2 upon k2 h plus k equivalent small h h3 upon k3 h so h will cancel out here and so we can write capital H is common so capital K equivalent we can write as capital H and K equivalent will also come common come out common because it's there in everywhere so it is H1 upon K1 plus H2 upon K2 plus H3 upon K3 this is the formula for vertical flow coefficient of permeability in the vertical flow case so it can be it can also be done for the any number of stratifications now one more thing to note here is that the value of kh is always higher than KV and there is a very good reason for this so in the horizontal flow case flow is occurring parallel to the stratifications so the water has choice to flow across it can choose K1 if, if three, three layers are having a permeabilities of K1, K2, K3 so it can choose to flow either through K1, K2 or K3 depending upon their permeability values so if K1 is permeability in first layer is high so more flow can occur through this layer so the K equivalent will be high but in the vertical flow case water has to cross all these stratification it does not have the choice of choosing the strata through which this it can pass so always the K equivalent KH will be greater than K vertical so that's it for the permeability.